instalment. I'm just going to cover a few bits that I've not covered before, um, like cutting height, what I do sometimes just to give the underneath a clean stop from getting all clogged up. So uh, cutting height, again you press the stop button, raises the hatch, if you can see in there you've got like a knob which you can turn that way clockwise to make it go lower, anti-clockwise to make it go higher, you can see the red dial going higher there. Still sort of playing around with this at the minute, I thought a, a low cut might be best but as you can see I've got quite a lot of clover in the grass, if you can make that out. I was hoping that by nibbling at the top regularly we'd get rid of it, I've also got quite a few daisies in the grass. Um, to be honest, since I've had the auto mower, as you can see I've got a lovely well cut lawn all the time but it hasn't really tackled my weed problem which I was hoping it might do. So that's cutting height, I currently have mine set at just less than two, if you can see the red, it's a bit difficult with the sun, you can see the red going down, oh wrong way, there we go, shut that up, oh, actually it's asking for pin code, I'll shut that back up, I'm going to turn it off at the back, if you look underneath here you've got a, you've got an on off switch under there, I'm just going to turn that off, before I do anything underneath I like to do that just in case, so underneath you can see you've got the cutting blades, you've got three, one there, one there, one there. I haven't changed my blades yet, when I first got the mower the guy said to me that it should last me the, last me a year or so, I've got a spare set in the garage but I've not yet used them. What I tend to do is if the, if it's been a bit wet, um, I'll do this sort of every couple, a couple of times a week maybe, just pick some clag and the grass out, if you can see there's quite a lot of gets caught underneath. Just underneath there a lot. Make sure that there's nothing sort of blocking the blades from cutting properly. The blades are still quite sharp. As you can see they just sit on screws. And I believe changing them is really easy. Just undo the screw, pop the blade out, put a new one back in. That's it basically. As you can see there's quite a bit underneath there as well, but that doesn't really affect the cutting. I'm just going to pick them bits up and this is what I do with all my bits, pop them over next door's fence. Bonus. So I'll turn him upright and back on as well. Another little feature which is quite handy, if you are doing a manual cut, I'll just move that out of the way while I put my code in. You go to menu, go to home and then OK. Start for home, close hatch to start. That will have, it won't cut, it'll start the motor and it'll find its way back to the base. As you can see it's looking for the wire, I've got a wire that goes not only around the perimeter of the grass but also along the middle from the base to the far end. At the far end it sort of joins the main loop if you like. So then what the mower will do is it'll work its way around the garden looking for the home wire and it'll follow it. So actually the minute the motor's running the wheels are turning but it's not actually cutting anything so it'll just find its way back to the base. Just bear with me while it finds it. As you can see I've got a bit of a build up of leaves around the base and the grass is a bit longer but every couple of weeks I give that a strim, make it look a bit better. So, so far, all positive. Apart from it hasn't tackled my weeds like I thought it would. But uh, I'll see you next year. So there you can see that's back on the base, now charging again. What I've done in the past is sometimes I've done a manual cut, I've sent it back to its base using the home function. But then I've forgotten to uh, put it back into auto, so basically when it was due to do its next cut, it hasn't done it because it's been sat in home, so I'm just going to pop the lid, put my code in, and then just make sure that I put it back to auto. So press start for auto, then it says there, next start is Friday at 12 o'clock, close hatch to start. So that will now carry on charging until Friday 12 o'clock, then I'll cut again. So that's it for me today, thank you.